everyone, my name is Bearzilla, and welcome to yet another Top 10 Banners Guide. Um, this time I have another cool 10 um, banners, some of them you suggested, some of them I just found them I thought were awful cool. So here are the banners that I will be showing in this video. Um, whole bunch of variety here, um, a lot of these, like the chicken and a lot of the animals in the villager you guys suggested, and the other ones like the ender dragon my friend made. Um, and then just as miscellaneous other ones I just thought were really cool. So guys, as this banner video goes, I will be showing you exactly how to make every single one of them throughout the video. I will be doing it in order of this, so if you want to skip around the video and you're like, oh I want to see this guy and I'm on this one, then you know you're close, but you know, stuff like that. Um, just also a quick little um, thing um, on banners, I say every video. Um, if you want to duplicate a banner, for say you want to duplicate this um, this slime banner, its base banner is this lime green banner. If you put your slime banner plus the slime green banner in your crafting table, you will duplicate the banner. Therefore, you only have to do it once. Also, if you're wondering how to make a creeper head, I'm not sure if any of these are creeper head material, but if I do have a creeper head, you need to get a supercharged creeper, which is a creeper struck by lightning and have it explode next to another creeper, you will get a creeper head. So that is how you get that. So guys, without further ado, let us begin. Okay, to start off, we have this really cool slime banner. Um, I like it a lot. Um, so you're gonna need this base lime, and you're gonna put a banner here, and ink sacks up here. You will get this. Um, uh, three lime die, and the banner, you will get this. A um, ink sack in the corner with your banner, you will get this. Um, light um, green dye all around, you will get this. And then light green, like kind of tint by doing this with your banner here, and you will get your slime banner. Very cool. Um, I love this one a lot. Alright, so here we go. Next one, um, some probably a lot of you guys don't know what it is, but this is a domo banner. Um, just some like like pudgy brown guy. I never really knew what he was from, but I always thought he was cool. So to get this banner, you're going to need a brown base banner and three ink sacks. You will get this. Put um, cocoa beans up the middle. You will get this. Red dye down the bottom. You will get this. Um, bone meal like this on the crafting table with this. You will get this. Cocoa beans all around with this, and you will get your domo banner. Very easy to make. Um, actually, very cheap too. So that's something you can definitely do. Um, very cool. Very cool. So here's like a little um, kind of like grave cross type of thing. Um, I thought it was super cool. I don't know how you pe people discover these. And by the way, I don't make all these myself. Most of these I get linked to from you guys or just friends telling me about them. So. This is just a little like, cross grave thing. So, by the way, you can change this um, back color all you want, but just change everything I do blue into the selected color you want. So you're going to need a blue banner. You're going to put a bone meal in the middle. You'll get this. An oxide daisy and a lapis lazuli with this, and you'll get this. Um, and, um, bone meal like this with your banner, and you'll get this. Lapis Lazuli all around, you will get this, and Lapis Lazuli on the top, and you will get your nice little cross thing. Um, definitely works for, you know, you could put it in, like, a label a grave place or something. Um, all these are very good, all these are very helpful. So next we have this really cool Ender Dragon, and this was actually made by my friend Combat Killer. And many of you guys are wondering why I don't link these, is because there's so many people that post the same thing. I can't say for sure it's they're actually them. However, since um, my friend told me about this like the first day um, uh, he made this banner, um, I used to play on Diamondscape with him. Um, but yeah, we he made this banner. So just shout out to Combat Killer and shout out to whoever made these. I'm sorry once again if you know you made it and I didn't comment you. That's yeah, my bad. So you're gonna need a black base banner. You're going to need this purple dye all around like this. You'll get this. Purple dye on the sides, you will get this. Ink sacks down like this with your banner, and you will get this. Oxide daisy, you will get this. And then a wither skeleton skull, and you will get your ender dragon. Very cool. I actually made this on my single player and multiplayer world, so that's a very cool banner. One of my favorites, actually. 
So next we have this nice little ender port. I mean, not ender portal, nether portal. Um, it's pretty simple to make, but I just thought it was pretty cool because you could label your ender ender portal room. Um, I just like to make all these places like labelable. So you're gonna need a pink base banner. Um, you're also gonna need a bricks and purple dye with your pink base banner. You'll get this. For purple dye, you will get with that. You will get this. Um, purple dye like this with your banner you will get this purple dye like this you will get this ink sacks all around and you will get your nether portal very cool I love it a lot it's pretty stinking sick definitely something I'm gonna put on my world whenever I build that so this is another great labeling one and actually one that's been suggested a long time and this is the villager very cool. Um, shout out to whoever made this design because you are brilliant. I have no idea how you did this so well. So you're going to need a white base banner. You're going to need this um, cactus green dye all around. You will get this. Um, uh, you know, cocoa beans on the bottom. You will get this. Orange down the middle. You will get this. Cocoa beans all around. You will get this. Ink sacks down the middle um, with your banner and you will get this cocoa beans all around the top and you will get this I have no idea how this guy discovered this but once again way to go that was brilliant um, something I have to have and I'm so glad I'm making videos on these because even I sting and watch my videos when I make the um how to make the banners alright so here we go here's the enderman so to make the enderman you're gonna need a purple base banner you're going to need a pink um like this you'll get this purple like this, you will get this, ink down the middle, you will get this, ink kind of like a cross, I mean an X only in tilted, you will get this, um, ink all around the bottom, you will get this, and ink on the top, you will get that, there you go, there's your Enderman banner, um, it's pretty stinging cool, um, I like it a lot, it's, it's brilliant. Um, especially from a distance, like from up close the eyes look a little funky, but from over here it looks just like an Enderman. So that's great. So whoever made this, I don't know what um, inspired them to make this, but this is cool. It's just a piston pushing up a block of dirt. Um, I don't know why it was so cool to me, but I love the idea, so yeah, why not put in the top 10 banner of episode. So we're going to need a black base banner, as always. Um, we're going to put um, a cross of um, um, orange dye. You will get this. Ink sacks all over the top. You will get that. Cocoa beans on the top with your banner. You will get that. Light gray dye on the bottom and you will get this. And um, this um, cactus green on the top. You will get this. And then black dye all around. Um, ink sacks all around. And you will get that. Um, interesting banner. I don't know if I'll use it, but I figured someone might be able to use it. It looks cool. Definitely looks cool, but I don't know where I'd put it. Maybe for a redstone room. Yeah, that could label a redstone room. Alright, so here's one that you guys suggested, and that is the squid. So, here you go. You're going to need this cyan. I'm pretty sure it's cyan. Let me just check. Yeah, it's going to be a cyan, um, a banner. Um, with a creeper head and, um bone meal and you will get this ink sack and vines you will get this um, it looks so silly already um, cyan dye all around the bottom you will get this already looking like a squid cyan dye on the top you will get this and lapis lazuli all around and you will get your squid very good for like labeling a squid farm that's what I put that for and last but not least the chicken everyone has a chicken farm who does not have a stinking chicken farm so here we go white base banner um, your white base banner with your three ink sacks you will get this your white ba your banner with um, ink sacks going down the middle you will get this red dye all around with your banner and you will get this ink I um, mean not ink sacks some um, bone meal all around you will get this it looks kind of funny it's like oh no um, and then a yellow dye down the middle and you will get this and you could stick it with this because that looks pretty good but if you want to have a smaller whatever the thing under their nose is called you can also put three wet bone meal down the bottom and you will get that so it looks a little bit nicer 
But that ends this video, guys. Um, this video is probably super fast, but um, all these banners are just so cool. Um, if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please leave a like. A like is what keeps me going. If I keep getting a couple hundred likes per video, I will easily keep making these videos out for you guys. Also, every comment you put, I love. I love every comment. I don't want to just be like, you know, a guy begging for stuff. But, you know, comments do help and everything just to make more videos and make them out faster. But guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.